Hey, do you all see this uh graffiti right here? Looks like I vandalized this wall, doesn't it? Well, I didn't. I did it in Photoshop. But yes, uh, this is what I'm getting ready to show you all. This uh, this graffiti. This graffiti. You will need extras for this tutorial. Though you need a uh, brick wall texture like the one here, grunge brushes, and some paint spatter brushes. I'll have links to all in the description. But hey, if you want to be enlightened, stay tuned. Okay, go up to File, uh, click New. Uh, yeah, now nah, for this one, I'm gonna be clicking uh, Open. I have a brick texture downloaded already. That I got from DeviantArt. Um, I'll post a link in the uh, description. All right. After you've reloaded your your brick texture, grab the text tool. Um, type in whatever you'd like. I have I got this uh this funky text right here the graffiti text the link will also be in the uh, the description from um font.com it's called Soul Street and Faith Collapsing text now going to blending options we're gonna make it look better graffiti up for real add a stroke and the colors don't matter these just so happen to be the ones I chose yeah. uh, stroke make it kinda thick to make it really look like true graffiti art and I added a color overlay you could have changed it color the text but I'm just gonna add overlay it's, it's quick and easy right now let's go for me right here now I want you after after you got your text down, I want you to right click. Right click on the uh text layer, convert to smart object, then control click on the thumbnail to select the area. Now I want you to hit control C to copy it to the clipboard. Alright, hit control D to deselect can create a new layer. Hide the text layer and go up to filter and vanishing point. Now for this the vanishing point, let the bricks be your guide. Your guide to uh to glory. The bricks be your guide to glory. If you don't let the bricks be your guide to glory, it will look weird. Trust me. I've experimented and I've made some pretty weird looking graffiti art and once you get that going hit control V to paste um yep there you go there's a graffiti paste your graffiti slide it yeah make sure when you're doing the uh, vanishing point you make the rectangle big enough for your your text because it does expand when you put it inside click OK look at that yeah, that's amazing. That's nice. Create a new layer. Put the layer under the text layer. And then go up. Alright, we're gonna name this layer text. Just to keep track of the of the layers. Alright, go up to the the, uh, the brush. Yeah, grab those paint pattern brushes. Those paint spatter brushes. I was telling you about paint pattern whoa look at me backwards today but yeah the paint spatter pressure this is the part where you get to be creative you get to be creative and spatter it up yep watch me watch me spatter it up. oh look at that what graffiti artist uses brushes for graffiti that looks like brush spatter that's like br not spatter drip that's some brush drip right there. Ooh, that's crazy. Somebody totally missed. But yeah, this is the part where you get to be creative in your own little way. And I was, you know, I should have kept it, kept it short, and sweet. I got a little I look carried away. I should have kept it short, and sweet. What's wrong with me? But. It, it adds to the effect.
paint spatter paint spatter brushes come in handy sometimes when you're doing graffiti art. Alright now merge these two layers. Yeah merge these two. Bam now I want you to control click control click on the the text layer it's thumbnail then click on the background had that had that had the text layer click on the background and hit control C we're about to do a brick overlay and you'll see why reveal that create a new layer take it above the text layer then hit control V all right we're gonna name this brick over okay um um my R isn't working because it's software why, why do I I always forget that. I'm gonna name this tech this layer. I'm just gonna name it lay. I'm just gonna name it lay. And control V. Control V on this layer. Right, here's the break overlay, put that right there. Go into blending mode screen. And we're gonna put it at uh color burn. Ooh, no, 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 color burn. Uh, hard light. Put it hard light. Then we're gonna take the opacity down to um eighty percent. Give the color and make it a little richer. Alright. Eighty percent. Now I click back on the perspective on the text layer. We're gonna create a add a layer mask. Make sure your foreground color is set to black. Now you can be creative again. Go into your brushes. Grab your favorite uh, crunch brush. Uh, I have a favorite of mine that, I, that I've chosen. Oh man. Oh, oh man. I can't even tell that I'm doing this in Photoshop. I think I thought I could have swore I downloaded it with Gilded App 5 painted on there. That's amazing. That is amazing. Alright, next. Create a new layer. We're going to set a gradient. Make sure your gradient is white to gray. I used the black to white, but turned it to gray. Turned black to gray. In the gray, I'm using this uh, 9B, 9B, 9B. You can use any shade of gray. Just make sure it's gray. Alright, hit OK. Okay, set your uh, set it to radial gradient. I want you to drag from the right side of the screen to the left side of the screen. And release. Release. There you go. All right, and set it to um, color burn. Look at that. That's amazing. That is amazing, and that's really the effect right there. Set the opacity to seventy-five percent. Well, here's the effect right here. It's beautiful, isn't it? Now you can vandalize any building you want within uh, Photoshop without being penalized. But yeah, <laughs> I hope this technique helps you on your design endeavors but hey thanks for watching comment subscribe uh, any suggestions let me know and matter of fact if you wanted to post a video of your work I, that'd be even better than a suggestion because if you outdid me I, I could learn from the proof the proof is in the pudding you, you know what I'm saying yeah, thanks a lot. Thank you all for watching. Have a nice YouTube video.